Yikes. Look at these guys. <laughs> More guys trying to... Oh, uh, Ronaldo's jealous because this one's going to be better than his. When he talked about fake meeting Rom Zombie. <laughs> Reed almost took a suspension he spilled my, there. Rhino spilt my coffee. I'll be talking to Chica about that one. You might be hearing from player safety. <laughs> you probably got them on speed dial. <laughs> Freezing day in Nashville, one of the coldest days of the year. I'm here with uh, Luke Shen, very excited for this road trip with Biz, and uh, Luke, always nice to meet my fans. Yes, thank you. Huge fan of yours, always have been. Looked up to you and really admired, uh, you know, obviously your playing career, and uh, obviously I could never turn out to be the player you were, but, um, you know, you're a great role model for me, so thank you for having me. I appreciate the kind words. Uh, now, Luke, this weather is very similar to like you grew up. It's almost like it was meant to be this episode. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is actually a warm summer day in Saskatchewan, so I mean, uh, you know, we're used to this. This is this is the day where you lay outdoor by the pools, and uh, you know, this is this is the type of weather you dream of back home. So I think it's what minus ten ish. Yeah, it hurts yeah. to breathe there. Well, you're kind of in a tough spot because you're between Ontario and then the the Western teams. Who was your team growing up? Ooh, uh, yeah, we got. All the games on TV, we pretty much got all the Calgary and Edmonton games, and then uh, obviously you'd get the Hockey Night in Canada, Toronto games. So, um, so you were torn. I was completely torn. I'm, you know, I, I had no so you had no team. I had no favorite. I just like player. Now, I mean, being torn with uh, NHL teams growing up because you had so many options, that all changed. That all changed when you were drafted, fifth overall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was uh, pretty fortunate to get drafted to Toronto and. Uh, it was pretty crazy uh, breaking in there as a young guy, and um, you know, it was. Did you make it right out of camp after you were drafted? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, it was pretty crazy, and uh, just the fans there are wild, and you know, everything's uh, under scrutiny. That's for sure. And then all of a sudden, two weeks in, you see your first game checks, and you're probably just like, "Wow, this sure beats 50 bucks a week in the Western Hockey League." Yeah, I wasn't even sure how to deposit them or where to deposit them. It's, things was, it, was it direct deposit or was it straight, uh, did you have to go cash it? I had to go cash the first couple ones and then a couple of the older guys on the team helped me help set me up at, at a, with a bank manager at RBC. <laughs> <laughs> where did you play junior hockey? Uh, Kelowna. I, I believe you did your... Uh, your documentary of BC in Kelowna, if I, if I recall. Oh, that's that's right, because I did call you and then I didn't hear back from you. No, actually, you called me. Actually, you texted me there you go, the day of. So you, you're like, hey, what are you doing in an hour from now? I was like, oh, what, like where are you? Well, you're we did a gorilla style, so we weren't really prepared. Yeah, exactly. But it was actually the same night as uh, Carey Price's uh, charity event he does. Name drop. Yeah, well, I mean... I committed, I committed to, to carry, but if I would have had more than an hour's notice, I, I for sure would have committed to you. Uh, fun fact, I scored my first NHL goal on carry, but it's not so a big deal. I. So did I. In what? Montreal, yeah. Wow, <laughs> in Montreal. Yeah, cheers. Bro. Look at this, man. We were meant to be. We talked about your, your favorite team going up. Who's your favorite player? Um, I like the big physical defenseman. I, like, I like Pronger. I mean, he was unreal. Uh, just so, like, mean and nasty out there. Just cool. abuse guys and... Rob Blake was a, another favorite, and then, um, you know, for forwards, obviously guys like Aginla watching him oh, work, yeah. like, like the guys that played with an edge, I love those guys, so. Have you met Rob Blake? Yeah, he was assistant GM when I was in LA, and uh, had him one time as a GM of the World Championships, too, so he's just an incredible cool. guy, too. Great guy. One of the nicest guys, funny, good farm boy. He's from Ontario. That's right? probably. I think he's. He, I think he's Ontario? a. I think he's a farm boy. Yeah. I mean, he's not. Oh, anymore. whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Were you hating on Ontario farm boys? Because it's not like Saskatchewan farm boys. There's, there's a slight difference, uh, for sure. There is. Jeez. <laughs> this guy's talking a lot of crap. <laughs> Well, guys, we're at the Bridgestone Arena. I got a special surprise for you guys. I uh, ended up raiding Stan Wilson, <laughs> Stan and Denver Wilson's closets, and uh, I'm gonna outdress Luke Shen again for the second time in the same day. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the night. Can't wait. We uh, we found some uh, lovely guests. You guys might be the first guests we've had on road tripping with Biz. <laughs> uh, do you know who this is? Uh, no. 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 I know. <laughs> That's Luke Shen, one of the top. Country artist out right now. It was so funny. Just released his first album, first ever Canadian since Shania Twain to have two number one songs on one CD. The two number one hits are I Hate Corsi 
<laughs> and number two, cute toe drag, eat my shoulder. And that one's, no, I'm serious. That, and that, that one's featuring uh, Mark Giordano from the Calgary Flames. <laughs> Guys, here we are, one of the, probably the busiest streets in the world, Broadway in Nashville. Uh, oh, I can already hear the music and it's kind of firing me up. Maybe give us a little taste of what you'd bust out on the dance floor. Oh, uh, on the dance oh, floor? Oh, you talking? <laughs> heart. Um, show me something, Hickey, man. Hickey, heart, Billy Ray? Oh, yeah, Hickey, Breaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honk it's a honky tonky heart. It's a remix. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what else is good? Uh, no, no, I want you to show me what you would do on the dance floor. I want you to give me a little two-step. Oh, I, I, I'll, I'll take you for a two-step. Oh, is that a is that a challenge? Well, just a just a gentle one. Like, I don't want to throw you on too much. It's icy here. You got cowboy boots on. No, 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 no. It's no, just no, no. You're thinking of line dancing. Do you know what a two step is? Yeah, I know what that is. I think I just felt a challenge, and this interview kind of took a, a, a turn for the worst. No, 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 for the best. It's it's not a challenge. It's like just embrace it. I think you're trying to uh, backtrack. <laughs> I think we should uh, take this inside. <laughs> I mean, you guys are probably you guys probably thought you were seeing double with me on the dance floor between me and the king over here, but uh, you weren't, Shenner. How do you feel about that taking that L? Honestly, I'm gonna just go back to the. Oh, sorry, 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 Elvis. There, uh, I'm just gonna go back to the hotel and uh, you know lick my wounds. I mean, I, I totally got owned. I didn't bring much to the table, and uh, you owned me too. Uh, I just wanted you to talk about your brother. You actually got the chance to play with him in Philadelphia. What yeah. was that like? Oh, that was great. That was great. That was uh, one of my best uh, experiences playing the NHL is getting the chance to play with them on the same team. Obviously, you know, going into games with them was obviously cool, but just to experience the whole uh, the whole NHL life and, uh, you know, going on the road trips and stuff with them and having the same teammates is pretty cool. And it was uh, about three and a half years together, so we're pretty fortunate. Now, when you guys would have your, uh, your team's dad's trips, yeah. were you guys allowed to bring two parents? Or maybe even an uncle? No, so we had three dad strips in Philly. And the one year my dad wore my brother's jersey, the next year he wore mine. And then the third year, they got him a shed on the back and had 10 on top and 22 on the bottom. So he had, <laughs> he had double numbers going on the jersey. So he was requesting it. He's like, I gotta get two numbers going here. They made it for him in the third year. It was awesome. Wow, that's a great, I like that. That's <laughs> a great story. That concludes one of my favorite road tripping with Bizzes. Uh, I got the school Luke Chen on the dance floor. And we're gonna, I'm going to send you home in a cab like I always do. Chivalry is not dead, so thanks for coming on. Oh, pleasure, all yours. <laughs> Can we edit that out? Don't make jokes against me on my show. Oh, sorry. I, yeah, my bad. No, and I was going to give you my jacket. I still am. Throw it on like a green jacket. Well, that concludes it, guys. Great road tripping with Biz and Luke Shen, one of the best guys ever. Uh, big thanks to him for coming on.